Yes, with the new Sims stuff. Give us the new Sims. 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 That's fine. And then, you know, if there are conditions put on, I would just ask that the board clarifies the conditions so I can issue the permit appropriately. The second. I was just going to say the addition that you're about to put. Yep. Yep. Is that still running that five foot line right along the side of that no. driveway that's stepping in and then going out? I don't think it should be right along that property line. He's not it's going to the property that line. No, it's I'm not touching going to the back. Yeah, yeah, it's going, going that way. way. It's right. going right. south. Right. The yeah. all of this well, is again, it's all in the end. All it south. shows so. an L and then it doesn't show it, so I wasn't sure. That oh. L is on the south side. Yeah. That's kind okay. of one of the, if there's an addition like this, we have an in-ground large pool, which I always had well a few with the existing house and, and the shed before the three metal sheds were added last year. And uh, if you put a second house there, we lose that totally. So that's why I want to see a set of drawings. Yeah. Wait, Wait, David, you want to answer that? Yeah, the sheds are in the back of the house, in the back of the driveway, the pool is right 15 feet to the left, yeah, and they, I feet. haven't ruined any of the pool view. And you're not going to extend out past right. your driveway. No, 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 the pool the yeah, the is on the other side Can of the driveway. Can you see this here? I'm familiar with it. Well, the house isn't going to be any more than what you already have, what he already has the there. The three sheds are on there right there, aren't they? Right, the three sheds right here. Yeah. Right, here's your pool right there. It shows your pool. And the dead rhododendrons were dead before I put the sheds up. This, this is all going to stay right here. It wouldn't affect, I don't know that, well, do we see a drone? It would be nice to see a drone. In today's technology, it's pretty easy to but come up with This is simple. These are the three sheds. Yeah. Right there. Yeah. So that was an open area. And here's your pool. This is my pool. This is his house. And there, there, yeah. This is, and he says he takes this down. There is his new driveway. It doesn't have the footage he's talking about. How are you going to put well, the we're footage gonna actually, under? It, it, it's yeah, a little bit all windows. encompassing because you're adding people, you're right. adding more vehicles. Even his application so, is very so great. So there could Kitchen be, bars there and could be a uh, visual yep. blockade, blockade, but we are not dealing with reality. Uh, you want to make a comment? I just want to ask uh, the building inspector a question. He just referred to uh, building permits coming in with conditions or something like that. If, what, if, what kind of conditions are we talking about? If, if the board issues a variance for the construction of an addition, irregardless of its use, if they implement conditions on that variance, the permit is subject to those conditions. Okay, but we clear something up. We're not what doing any as much as water runoff onto permit. the driveway. What kind of conditions? Like, you know, it's it's one can be consent that. conditions. Right. Okay, yeah. you can set so conditions. Could it be like, like, it. like we we're saying, the water runoff going into the driveway? We could have them do some type right. of higher wall to keep the water from running in that property. Things like that. Those okay. are conditions that you put on those the are, property. Those are not set by me. Those are set through the discussion and and set by the board. And Mr. Adams is right. It's variance or special permit. What he's asking here for a special permit, which is two families allowed by special permit. Yeah. All right. I did have one other point of order, yeah. Mr. Chairman. Um, I heard discussion about the uh, right of way, and I would um, I can't mediate it, obviously, but I would caution the board if they're going to make if that part of the variance. Those are deeded rights mm -hmm. that are probably in both deeds. Uh, I would urge you not to do that because that would be impossible to enforce. Mm -hmm. So, you know, unfortunately that, that's no, a civil matter already. between parties. Um, you know, he can say that he doesn't use it, but if it's a, if it's a deeded right, can. uh, you can't yeah, make it. He sells it, it that goes right. with it. That's <laughs> understood, but if there's a violation of that right by crossing in different directions. That would be a civil matter between the two I parties. I understand, but how can you proceed with a build if it's going to increase if. vehicles and people on that property entitled to that right? You well, can't. He would, he's trying to say he's not going to use that. If, he no didn't have if you put that addition I, on it, probably going to take I that. I can right. understand your question. I, no, I mean, it's it's hold on. Right. Right. Sorry. Excuse me. If he didn't have another driveway or parking area to access that property, then your point would be valid. But he does have another means of access. So I just, this board doesn't have the authority to, to negate him that right. So my question is this, 
can he continue with the build if he's in violation of the right of way when there's going to be an increase of vehicles and cars? If he's saying he's not using it, then there's no need of a right of way. Is there not? That would be between the two but parties they, to abolish the right of way. Well, you're, if you allow a two family for additional vehicles and cars, to He's some degree it is. He huh? has access from Pleasant Street to his own driveway, sir. Right. Okay. And, and, and okay. quite, quite frankly, our bylaws require access from its frontage. I can't give out a permit unless you have access off its frontage. So he's proven and he's shown that. If, if this continues, then I would just encourage the two parties to discuss amicably abolishing the, the right of way, and then you each have to get an attorney to do that. Okay. And that would be changed through you people. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, I don't it, care. So. He's using the right of way. He's crossing over where he doesn't have the right of way. He drags his rubbish down there. It's placed on my land. It's placed on my land to pick up. He's using it. When it says no, we're not going to get into that. No, I do. Uh, it's I do want to uh, drive by the property also and take a look at it myself. Um, does the board think it's necessary to have a public meeting at the property? I don't or, know where it is. I'm very familiar with it, except for where the location of the position is going to be. I'd like to see that. It's on the deck on the left. I, on the I would patio, okay. cement patio, on all that left. patio. When you're looking at it to the left. All that cement right. patio. So behind the existing go. corner? Not on the, right mm -hmm. on it. So it's not going to butt the end of your driveway? No. The way no. I understood it, you were going to go the all the way to where your current driveway is. We're all talking about the front end. When you're driving up my house, you see three Mr. Okay, let's have one conversation. Mr. Beaton. Okay, sir. We're going to have one conversation, okay? So. We're going to continue this hearing until uh, March 21st. I mean, it will be at 7 o'clock. It may not be the first item on the agenda, but it will be here at 7 o'clock. The voting members are going to drive by the property individually and take a look at it and see, kind of get an idea as to uh, where the house is going to go and what the pro how the property is set up. We're going to get plans from you that is going to be presented at our next meeting, so we're not closing the public hearing. And I would invite all the abutters to come back here at the next hearing so that you can see more specifically as to what the plans are. We're talking in generalities, and uh, we want specifics, and uh, you don't provide it to us. Okay. You won't so. be notified, so it's on the 20th. Is there no other further notification other than what we're saying right now that uh, next week? So, a week from today? No, 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 next March. March. Oh, next oh, month. So, yeah. on the so on the plans, we want to see a Wednesday the dimensions, heights, yeah. um, setbacks, all that good stuff, not just a square or, or the drama, just as much as the details you can give us. Okay, setbacks meaning to the back of the property from where? From the, for the in general, yes, exactly. We want to see where it's going to be located, you know, where it's going to be attached to the building here and, and the dimensions and height and that, and that kind of stuff. So, so I'll entertain a motion then to continue this hearing. I'll make a motion to continue to March 21st. For that condition? Yes, sir. Is there a second. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? No opposed. So this here is making team as much. I'm glad that there was no issue. I'll seek additional information. Thank you. 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 I know it's over one second. Are you sure? I don't know. I don't have a plan to prove that, but according to the GIS, it shows that it is one. I'll try it. I'm telling you, what is this? Okay, it's a bubble in the level. So, did you live down there about that? No, I don't know. Okay. So moving right along. But it's 175. Yeah, let's, let's continue the hearing. Uh, I'll let the point uh, point 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 know. They still have to. Uh, right. Well, that's okay. Continue the hearing. Okay. 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 Okay.
I'll make a motion that the chairman, um, Greg Logan, and his brother, and the vice chairman, Greg Logan, the designation, um, people designated to uh, sign payroll or for uh, present money. Is there a second on that motion? I'll second. Any further discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? No opposed. We need to have, um, to de designate somebody, the next item is to designate the website. We need to designate someone to uh, monitor our website. In the past, it was uh, Rosalind uh, Grassi. She no longer works for us. I'm asking that Nicole uh, Skylison uh, be appointed to be our rep uh, representative. So moved. Second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? No discussion? No, no, no. I, I just want you to can have it. It's all yours. Well, like, obviously you can't do it, but I mean, what is, uh, what we should be monitoring? Make sure all the paper is in the primaries. If we, if we lose a member, somebody wants to volunteer, but that, that comes up. Uh, General emails, I'm guessing. They yeah. 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 Make sure that uh, the meetings are posted on the website, stuff like that, I guess. Do you have my email address? Yeah, yeah. 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 you have an email address? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you want to know it? Sure. No, don't you care. You're going to give it to you. You have scrap. Uh, so the next uh, item is the uh, our mission statement. I was asked by, and all the boards were asked uh, to come up with a mission statement for each committee, and I came up with one uh, that I presented to uh, the town administrator. However, I told it it's conditional that we need to accept it as our. Uh, you said there was a mission statement. I did say it's pretty cool. So the mission statement that I came up with, and I may or may not have stolen this from others on the board. That's right. What was that, please? You said um, you presented it to the town administrator. With the condition that the board approve the mission statement. So I gave her uh, what I thought it should be, but I told her I would bring it back to the board if the board wants to change it. So, uh, the mission statement that I came up with is that the Indictment Zoning Board of Appeals, ZBA, is a quasi-judicial board that applies and determines the town zoning bylaws. It hears and decides on cases that petitioners request for variances, special permits, appeals of decisions of the Bill of Commission of 40 Bs. We seek to be impartial and take into consideration the best interest of the town. Anybody want to change that, want to add to it, has a better one? <laughs> This is the time to discuss it. I think you did a wonderful job. Thanks. Uh, other towns, whatever. Uh, Thank you, Swan. They did your votes. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Cool. Like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for wording this for us. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. We impartial. We should we should see. We are impartial. We don't try to see what we can. I agree with that. So we are, we are, we are impartial. We are impartial. We are impartial. So, would that change? Can somebody make a motion that we approve this mission statement? I'll make the motion and accept it. So, a second. Well. I'll second. Any discussion, Bob? I mean, anybody else? All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? No opposed. Has everybody had an opportunity to read the minutes? Yes. Yes. Uh, any discussion on those three, uh, minutes? I'll entertain a motion there to I'll make a motion to approve the uh, meetings from or the minutes from the last meeting. Second. Is there a second? Any discussion on that? No discussion. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? No opposed. And uh, on the public input, I just want to uh, say that I've been appointed to the Cannabis Com Commission by the time we're meeting on March 1st as our first meeting. They didn't ask me. They asked the, uh, they sent me something, I, I jumped I right on it. If it was okay for you to be there. Oh, well, <laughs> <laughs> we can discuss it if you wish. <laughs> no discussion. I have strong opinions on this. I'm not sure if I voice it to, uh, okay. to other members. Uh, I just thought, what exactly is the committee? I have it. The committee, uh, the, uh, the state's coming up with rules and regulations regarding uh, Someone needs to go. recreational uh, marijuana. This is just about you. We don't want to use recreational marijuana, but that's the term that uh, but everybody uses. But not medical, correct? 
this is not about no. medical. Right? Medical has been resolved. Right. We have yeah. we have zoning bylaws that uh, that address that. Now we need to come up, and she, uh, the town administrator has come up with a committee that we're going to discuss possibly changing the, our zoning bylaws to address this. In other words, we may, uh, as a commission, and make a recommendation to the town that we limit the areas where recreational uh, marijuana can uh, can be sold, mm -hmm. adult usage of marijuana uh, can be can be sold. We don't have the regulations from the state yet, so we're kind of waiting uh, for okay. that. They're going to come out shortly. They've already had their public hearings. Uh, did, did you participate, one of uh, I the, you went was to one President of Warren Dominic. Okay, yes. I was not present at uh, any of that. So they, they've come out with as possibilities, cafes, being able to uh, use marijuana in theaters and stuff like mm -hmm. that. So the town is looking to rezone the town for this particular usage now. I mean, we have certain requirements for, for alcohol. I think they, right. they, yep. I think they have to be uh, Can I ask a people in school. Uh, let me just finish this. Yeah. Uh, I think they have to be a certain distance from churches, I think. Okay. Like so obviously, and maybe I'm speaking out of line here, but we, we wouldn't want to put a adult usage of marijuana uh, dispensary right next to a daycare, right. for, for example. Yep. So we're going to come up with some uh, guidance and, and regulations Excellent. for the town, and okay. we'll be presenting something uh, to the town. I'll keep the board informed as to what we're discussing and, and how we're going to go forward with that. I, you had a question? Well, as it goes forward, I have a, a question. Like we, they're going to des try to designate areas where obviously we need this. I mean, it's, uh, something has to be done in this coming that is at a relatively quick pace. Uh, but you had mentioned that there were like uh, uh, rec recreational use areas and stuff. How can we go forward with this when they, uh, like, obviously you have to smoke marijuana, but I guess there's other ways you could probably eat it or whatever. Yeah. But you can't allow cigarette smoking in a restaurant. How do you offset this? They, they, uh, I don't want to be going into a restaurant and having someone, you know, smoking a cigarette any more than I want to have, because I used to smoke cigarettes. And, uh, how are they, they going to, you don't know anything. I, right? I, I do know that that's a concern, you know, yeah. the, the cafes. You know the employees. Right. We did the same thing with uh, with boss, right? right? We said that you can't smoke enough. You know that was a in big any deal. public area. In, well, initially, I mean, people were upset. I think we denied it in certain areas, and then the bars was like the last place that we stopped uh, people right. from smoking. Because there were employees that don't necessarily smoke and have to inhale all the smoke. Right. The same thing is going to apply to marijuana. So they they threw all this. It's difficult, but there's other ways of, of using marijuana. You may have heard of well, you know, brownies you know that, me, and uh, and you know candies and, and stuff like that. And it's my understanding of these cafes. Uh, well, you have exclusive to, is the main question. Well, you would you would go there to use marijuana. You have to purchase it from there. So in other words, you can't uh, bring your, your own land or your ounce of marijuana. Just in like your food, you bring your own food. No, it's not, and it's not bringing your own booze. But so you're limited. So they're gonna. It's like in a bar, they can't get you so intoxicated that you drive in. Mm -hmm. oh, so okay. you, you're going to be limited to the amount that you can. I'm not, I don't, I'm not a big fan of them smoking, but you using marijuana. And to say, they're also talking about in theaters. You can be able to go to a, a movie. You can go to some theaters now and have a glass of wine. They're, they're saying that you're going to be able to uh, use uh, marijuana. So we, as a town, uh, we want to designate certain areas and maybe come up with certain requirements. I think the planning board was going to vote tonight whether they have a moratorium on this for us. So don't allow any recreational marijuana in the town until we actually come up with this uh, resolution. Because as of July 1st, it's my understanding that companies, uh, businesses can come in. Really? They're not profits, but the businesses come in and, and set up these shops. So we want to be specific about it as to where they can be and probably set up our own rules and uh, regulations regarding that. This is a difficult situation. I don't think it's it's difficult. I mean, we have a history of no, prohibition. No, no, but no, we it, have it's a, here. I mean, it's in our town. It's here. It's, it's legal, it. and it's it's been approved by the people of Dayton. It's been approved by the, the state. Uh, we had prohibition with alcohol, and we saw the repercussions That's of that. Not what I meant. And then when they when they allowed uh, alcohol, they set regulations. It's now we had a prohibition on marijuana. Massachusetts allowing allowing adult we usage of marijuana. Only, only used to have so many liquor licenses per capita per uh, population. Yeah. I don't know if that, that's, that's correct. still and, the way. And to answer your question to that, Mr. Adams, is that what the state is regulating with that is that the town of Dighton say has 10 packer stores. You will maybe only allowed to build two facilities. Oh, it's, it's based going to be 20% of your liquor We don't have, the town. really? It's going to be 20, I believe it's going to, they have a, come out with a regulation with what they're talking about is 20% of whatever a liquor uh, license that you have. So 
Mm. So, because that's Obviously, how that goes. Because like we only have three liquor licenses in the town for stores. Okay. Oh my God. Yes, yes. Right. The, the meeting's still going. So, um, on, if I may, I, can, yes, I, I, I don't want to get into a deep discussion, but while the topic is here, um, I've been asked by the town administrator to look at a draft of some bylaw changes, and I did so tonight. Um, and I, I don't want to comment on all of it yet because we're still in discussion phases, as you said. But there was one thing in there that I saw, and I want to get the feel of the board on because I didn't agree with. Um, the setback issues from residential areas or certain places. Uh, in the bylaw as proposed, the setback was to structures. And I have a problem with that. I would rather it be from the edge of the zoning uh, designation because you can't designate that the setback of a facility be, let's just say, 500 feet from a structure because now if that person comes to me and wants to build a, another building on their land which is in their zone which they have a right to do now it's going to encroach on the 500 foot setback and that creates an enforcement issue for me so i would just encourage that if we make a change like that that we have the steadfast uh you know stance that we go from the zoning designation so you know if we residential zone stops here business zone stops here and you want whatever setback it is it stops from that delineation. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. And it really gets technical if you, one of it, if it stops, how many feet can you, if half the property is in where the zoning line goes? That, then there's case law that says majority prevails. Yeah. Um, but so I just saw that problem because now how do I tell a homeowner they, you know, they can't put this structure on their property? Yeah. It's going it, to it's going to create a problem. So. I think that's reasonable. Yeah. And we have to be concerned about the, right. the residents in town. So I'll keep the board uh, updated on that. The uh, number eight, item number eight, is the authorization expenditures. Uh, I'm now uh, been asked to uh, each month at our meetings uh, let the board members know how much we've paid in bills or how, how much I've signed off in bills that have been paid and how much I've signed off in payroll. So for this, uh, since our last meeting, I've signed bills in the amount of $159.50. We have copies of the bills and everybody has access to the bills. This is actually uh, Massachusetts general law that this has to be done. That this has to be done. And as far as payroll, which includes our salaries and uh, Nicole's salary, are signed off on two thousand five hundred thirty-six dollars and nine cents, and it's also uh, Rosalind's uh, salary too. So uh, I don't look for approval of that. Just let the board know if you have any questions about it. I have copies of all. Is it just an issue where it has to be entered in the minutes? It has to be entered into the minutes. We have to have a record of it. And the public needs to, to know what we uh, Makes sense. Absolutely. We just have them doing it, but it makes sense. Absolutely. Yeah. So before I ask for a motion to adjourn. Wow. Long as we yeah, have a while. Really see it. Two hours. I apologize. Last two and a half hours. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you swore they wouldn't last this long anymore. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is there anything else that anybody uh, wishes to bring up to the board? I'll entertain a motion to adjourn then. Make a motion we adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? No opposed. We're done. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Cable. Welcome. Thank you, Cable.